in my first video today I was talking about Jesus is our rock the rock is our foundation of our faith the primary evidence of us really believing and knowing that is peace it is the great gift peace the great Hebrew word shalom meaning the wholeness and really in our hearts it's it's the underlying bedrock of being totally calm inwardly no matter what's going on in the world around us which can be really scary and our personal circumstances which can at times be life-threatening so if we don't have peace are we standing on the rock and it's not hard. It is faith. Faith in, first of all, eternal life. And that's where it begins. We actually have our sins removed. Because deep down, our fears are based on the fear of death, which have to do with punishment, because we naturally do feel that we are guilty. But that guilt is removed and we believe in Jesus we have actually got access to God we are reconciled and more than that we have the deposit of the Holy Spirit in us which as I was explaining in my previous video results in living a life of love and love makes us assured that we know God in this new life where we go in our, to ourselves we say wow I have God in me and I know I belong to him it is peace that Jesus gives to us not as the world gives so it is a transformative peace if this is hard let's do this exercise now if you close your eyes to not allow any distractions and just say, Jesus, I invite you here. Be present. Be present. And let my heart know, what do I believe about you, Jesus? Am I troubled in my faith about you? Are you the rock? of what I truly believe. Do I believe a lie? Forgive me. Heal me where that lie came from. I forgive those who taught me that lie, that I can't trust you. Remove from me all that which stands between us. I receive you to heal, to restore, to make whole. Shalom. May you practice that, continue in that, for it is always urged in the New Testament letters, as you began with Jesus, continue in him. Let your lives be built up in him. As St. Peter said, as you believe your sins have been forgiven, so add to your faith these virtues that culminate in love. Otherwise, you haven't really believed. You have been forgiven. You've been reconciled. And you've been empowered to live a life by which now fear is cast out and the peace of God remain with you.